There's finally an AI agent that doesn't just pretend to work like a human online, it actually does. Retriever AI doesn't run on some cloud server pretending to be human. It becomes you. It lives inside your browser, sees exactly what you see, uses your real logins, and moves through the web like a ghost in the machine. No captchas, no blocks, no delays. It fills out forms, scrapes data, clicks buttons, jumps between tabs, all at once. And websites can't tell it's not you. It doesn't rely on screenshots or shaky guesswork. It reads the actual page code and acts with surgical precision. If every other agent feels like a clunky assistant, this one feels like handing your keyboard to something way smarter and watching it take over. The first thing most power users notice is the bring your own key option. One button steers you through Google AI Studio, flips on the free Gemini Flash tier, and drops the generated key straight into Retriever AI. From that moment, the agent taps Google's multimodal muscle without billing you a cent, and if you want more juice, the paid tiers slide in with no fuss. Credits stay cheap. The Haluminate benchmark run consumed roughly 4,000 credits, cost about $40 in total, and average around 12 cents per full task. A single credit covers one atomic action, Think one click, one scroll, or 10 rows scraped. So even heavy workflows stay pocket friendly. Under the hood, Retriever AI shuns screenshots and computer vision guesswork. It speaks directly to the document object model, reading the same clean HTML structure that a developer sees in dev tools. Because of that, the agent identifies buttons and fields with almost human certainty, closes pop-ups that float across the page, and keeps cruising even when language flips from English to Japanese. Tasks do not have to run sequentially either. The extension fires off background tabs in parallel, spreads subtasks across them, and stitches results back together. That is why speed numbers on Haluminate look wild. The full benchmark suite clocked an average runtime of 0.9 minutes per task, roughly seven times faster than browser use cloud, which lumbered in at 6.35 minutes. OpenAI's own cloud user assistant needed over 10 minutes, and Skyvern's remote variant stretched beyond 20. Accuracy follows the same pattern. On Haluminate, overall success landed at 81.39%, well ahead of OpenAI operator plus a human helper, which topped out at 76.5%, and miles past other autonomous agents sitting in the mid-60s or lower. Break the score down and the story gets sharper. For read-heavy jobs, scraping content, Grabbing prices, pulling profile data, Retriever AI hit 88.24%. Right, heavy interactions like posting comments or filling multi-step forms are tougher for every system, yet the extension still posted 65.63%, trouncing the next best contender at 46.6%. Even more telling is the failure ledger. Only 3.39% of misses came from infrastructure snags, such as captures or blocks, while a towering 96.61% were pure agent logic flubs that can be ironed out with better prompting and model tweaks. In other words, the environment hardly slows it down. Any stumble sits squarely inside the team's control to fix. Numbers are fun, but a tool only matters when it chops real drudgery. One demo that keeps racking up views shows Retriever AI barreling through 10 LinkedIn job postings at once. Tabs bloom in the background, each application form catches the correct name, resume, and custom blurb, and within a minute or two, every submission is stamped complete. Recruiters who used to lose evenings clicking Easy Apply can now line up a coffee, hit run, and watch the progress bar dance while caffeine brews. Another fan favorite focuses on e-commerce research. Open an Amazon laptop search, tell the agent to deep crawl the first page, and it harvests titles, prices, ratings, and URLs straight into a fresh Google Sheet. If a tidy executive summary is your thing, swap the sheet for a Google Doc and let the agent roll all the specs into readable paragraphs. The same pattern stretches to real estate, scouting, stock analysis, or academic literature reviews, Anything that lives behind a browser tab can be looped into a multi-step plan. Security folk often raise eyebrows at any browser helper, so Retriever AI's developers skipped Chrome's powerful but risky debugger permission entirely. 
That choice blocks a whole class of exploits and calms corporate infosec teams because the agent runs locally, site owners cannot sniff out a headless browser in some data center. Instead, they see the genuine user agent tied to your laptop. During the Haluminant trials, that local footprint proved crucial. Competing cloud bots stalled on LinkedIn's bot wall, whereas Retriever AI walked right through, reused the signed in session, and parsed every profile. The extension also supports user-defined functions, a sandbox where you can drop custom Python or JavaScript that pings an external API, taps a private database, or kicks off a Zapier action. The agent feeds live web data into that function, then handles the response, which unlocks hybrid chains, like hunting a prospect's email on LinkedIn and firing an automated Gmail introduction in one seamless flow. Sheets integration deserves its own spotlight. Paste a column of competitor URLs into a spreadsheet, add a prompt asking for pricing, headquarter city, and latest funding, and press go. Retriever AI pops each link in a hidden tab, scrapes the relevant bits, and writes new columns back beside the originals. Because every row runs in parallel tabs, the whole grid fills out in minutes instead of hours. Marketers have started chaining that enrichment step into cold outreach campaigns, letting the agent scrape contact data, build draft messages, and trigger a mail merge without touching half their usual SaaS stack. For creators who live in dashboards, Retriever AI goes further by spinning up on-the-fly visualizations, a pre-configured workflow opens whatever sites you list, scoops metrics, and compiles a web-based dashboard showing charts or tables that refresh every morning. One showcase video pulls thousands of product entries from a single scrolling page, sidestepping language models token limits by chunking the document object model, then funnels everything into a dashboard so buyers can filter by price, rating, or shipping speed. The benchmarks prove speed and accuracy, but everyday polish shows up in the small touches. Hover menus still stump the agent on occasion because the current build lacks a dedicated hover action, and aggressive scrolling can sometimes whip past lazy loaded elements, yet those quirks are gentle compared with the headaches cloud agents face. The team is already hill climbing through failure logs, swapping Gemini Flash for the smarter pro model on tricky domains, and tightening drop-down logic. Because almost all hiccups happen inside the agent rather than outside it, each patch meaningfully bumps success percentages higher. Cost remains another practical win. Credits purchased in $10 blocks translate to a million or more token moves, and given that one credit covers 10 scraped rows, heavy users rarely burn through their quota. Anyone on a bootstrap budget can stay entirely on the Gemini Flash free tier for moderate workloads. During the Haluminate stress test, 323 separate tasks ran for roughly $40 total less than the sandwiches consumed while waiting for slower agents to finish. Parallelism is more than a bragging right. It solves the exponential failure issue that haunts long web automations. When every step in a linear chain carries even a tiny chance of error, the overall success probability drops fast. Splitting subtasks across independent tabs means a misclick in one branch does not torpedo the whole mission. Retriever AI's document object model powered eyesight also reduces hallucinations because the agent never guesses at pixels. It reads concrete element identifiers. That stability is why write intensive chores like PDF form filling work. In one demo, the extension opened a blank W9, copied company data from another tab, and typed everything into the correct boxes without human nudges. Taxes may still hurt, but at least the paperwork drifts toward done. Community exchange workflows amplify the ecosystem. Early adopters upload their custom scripts, lead scraping playbooks, LinkedIn outreach loops, Shopify inventory collectors to a public gallery. New users click once to import and run them, no code needed, which accelerates learning and sharing. For teams, the sandboxed user function, bridge, means sensitive tokens stay on the employee's laptop, not a vendor server, keeping compliance officers relaxed. Every benchmark winner invites comparisons, and Retriever AI has no shortage. Vision-first tools like OpenAI's Cloud User Assistant rely on screenshots so a randomly positioned cookie notice can blind them. Browser use Cloud fights back with synthetic mouse moves, yet still flops on enterprise single sign-on pages. Manus AI fumbled Zillow searches that Retriever AI solved by pulling commute time data from Google Maps 
in a secondary tab. Other projects lean on server-side rendering, which advertisers block outright. In short, local plus document object model beats remote plus pixels almost every time. Midway through testing, Haluminet researchers locked credit cards to avoid accidental purchases, underscoring how many tasks involve real money. Retriever AI's local sandbox respects that risk by default. Unless you explicitly feed payment details, the agent cannot invent them. When it does need to submit forms repeatedly, stored user configurations speed things up. Fill out your standard name, email, phone once, and the agent references that mini profile whenever it senses matching labels during a job or newsletter sign-up blitz. The most striking lesson from Haluminet is that the agent's limits are mostly intellectual, not environmental. Where a cloud bot sees a wall of bot detection, Retriever AI sees a normal page element. Where a vision system gets lost under a pop-up, Retriever AI grabs the close button from the document object model and moves on. Failures are almost always about reasoning through a weird layout, choosing the right tool, or wrestling a dropdown. All issues that training and prompt engineering can fix. That gives the development roadmap laser focus, smarter planning, richer toolkits, and maybe that long requested hover action. So if your workflow still involves hopping between sheets, docs, and half a dozen SaaS dashboards, you now have an option to hand those chores to a local sidekick that is faster than cloud rivals, nearly as accurate as human-assisted operators, and cheap enough to run on pocket change. Install the extension, wire up a Gemini key, and let the tabs fly you may find those endless nights of copy-paste suddenly shrink to the length of a coffee break. Thanks for hanging out, and catch you in the next one.